Hello there, and welcome to Geeka Shaves. Um, I don't have a new razor that I've got to show you. Uh, in fact, it's actually an old razor that I'm going to be using. Um, but I thought I would uh, just briefly touch on the current topic, which is everywhere, the coronavirus, COVID-19. Um, I guess I'd be considered an early adopter on it. Uh, I've been following this guy called Chris Martinson, and I've been looking at lots of other things. Um, I believe his channel's uh, Peak Prosperity. So if you want to find out a lot about exponentials, which is quite um, interesting, uh, then please go have a look at it. Um, now, uh, some of you might know, um, I got into all this um, razor stuff because of a promotion we did at work. Some of you might likely don't know this, but in my day job, I sell building materials to builders. And part of my role is to try and come up with inventive ideas on how to capture uh, an audience and that. And around 2016, 2017, um, came out the news uh, that Dollar Shave Club had been bought for a billion dollars. And it, I was like, oh, wow, that's quite interesting. Um, and I'd been looking for a little while for a promotional item to give away to try and interact with customers. And uh, of course, I thought, if I can jump on the back of this, uh, this wave of interest, then that would do the company pretty well. So, we actually did it. We did a razor, and uh, we were saying we're the best shave club at the time because you can shave for free. Now this promotion all stopped quite a while ago, um, we still have a few razors left, but the idea was that um, you order with us, we give you a razor, and then when you come back again, you get free blades. And so it's like a loyalty scheme. And so it worked really well um, until Edgewell basically said, mm, that's enough, you're upsetting too many of our existing customers. So fair enough, these things happen. Um, but it did have a very useful purpose. Um, a lot of people don't really know that your stubble can actually interfere with your health. So, there has been lots of research. Your face masks. If you have stubble and you're wearing a face mask, the problem you have is you don't get a good seal because the hair helps to hold it off and then you can get um, particulates coming in through the side where it's supposed to be sealed to your face. Um, there was also, with this uh, COVID-19 thing, a uh, local hospital in the UK, uh, hospital trusts have asked their staff whether they would consider shaving for their own protection. And so, um, I thought today I would uh, shave with the original promotional item. Uh, we called it the Builder's Blades, because it was blades for builders, because that's who our target market is. Um, I'm not gonna open up this pristine packaging that I've got on this one. Um, I'm sure you can search for it. If you search up Builder's Blades, it pops up quite a lot. Um, so here is the razor. It is a caliber razor so from the Edgewell Persona range. Uh, originally, we were giving it away with the three bladed cartridges and we do also have it with the five blades, but really the whole idea was the three bladed one because I always thought, who needs the five blades anyway? Um, I must admit my mind is changing. I'm quite enjoying the five blades these days, but um, I was always a Mac 3. Um, did test a lot of razors, a lot, a lot of razors before picking this one. Um, and I do like it, it's a good razor. It's also been used in the home brands for a lot of shops uh, as their home brand and uh, it's currently used under Shavekit, and Shavekit's now got major shares bought by um, Wilkinson Sword, which is an Edgewell-owned company anyway. So, anyway, so here is the thing, the, the shave of the original builder's blade. And that's where it all began. It was all just from a bit of marketing. Had to find a product to use as a giveaway to try and entice customers. Worked pretty well. We still get customers wanting them, insisting on them, buying them. 
Ça. There we go. There we go. As you can see, there's a nice lager on there. Uh, the Builder's Blade's Blade. It's not a new one. But I haven't used it that often. Give it a quick shave. Now, remember, the reason it's good to be clean shaven at the moment is if you are one of the lucky few who have a dust mask, um, there's a global shortage on them. Um, I fortunately, because of working the building trade, uh, supplying building materials, we had a packet or two and we kept them and gave them to our staff as much as possible. Um, also, there was a stage where a lot of people were uh, actually exporting masks over to Australia because of their bushfire. So there's been two, two incidences which is causing a major shortage of masks across the world, that is. So. But if you've got it, it would help you because um, if anyone sneezes or breathes on you, stops it going straight in, straight away. Um, my cousin, who's a nurse, says normally viruses you need a P3 mask. Um, However, most builders, they don't use P3, it's either like P2, it seems to be quite common. Um, but I think anything which will stop someone sneezing on you and any sort of form of protection has got to be better than nothing. I mean, at the moment, in the UK, they're talking about just staying two metres away, like six foot away from each other. And I'm like, okay, maybe not. And we've got quite a few people in the country on lockdown because um, the Prime Minister said anyone who had a cough <coughs> has to stay home for seven days. Um, I had a cold well before, um, well I say well before, I, I, I had a cold that developed a few days beforehand so I'm currently in lockdown too. Um, get out on Thursday, yay, can't wait. Um, but he's then announced anyone who is in a house with more than one person in, the whole household is locked down for two weeks. So lots of places are currently very short staffed, very short in customers as well. Um, so it's real fun. Um, I hear various things uh, like that in other countries as well. Lots of other countries have got full on lockdowns. So there we go. We are nicely shaved. Now, one of the other things you have to do regularly in the UK is recommended to wash your hands. Okay, now most people don't necessarily do the washing properly. Um, you should get soap, you can have bar soap, it's actually really good. In fact, our current promotion at work is I saw, saw the problem come in. We started shops with just getting. Uh, I was going to use a really rude word there, but all the soap was disappearing everywhere. So I managed to get hold of a hotel supplier and I bought a load of soap. And um, we're now currently giving away soap for free to our customers as well, because many customers were unable to get hold of soap because the shops have run out. And this panic buying and hoarding, it's like, people sort of forget, you need to do the washing hands for everyone. Not just one or two people, everyone needs to wash their hands because otherwise the, the virus is going to spread around you and then you're going to get it anyway. So, you have to 
Just lather up your hands well. Get a good lather. Go all around, should do your wrists as well. People don't realize. So really focus on your fingers and your fingernails. You get a lot of um, things under your fingernails. Keeping your fingernails cut short at this time, apart from keeping your beard cut short, would be handy. There we go, my phone was slipping. So get it under. And done. So that was about 20 seconds. In the UK they say, Sing happy birthday twice. So, I'm not sure I really need to sing it twice. So, it's also really important to dry your hands on a clean towel. These towels are washed daily to make sure that they stay clean. I believe you need to get it on about 60 degree wash to make sure that you kill off anything that's on there, even though. I'm currently quarantined so I don't have anything but getting into the practice is the important part because this is going to go on for a very long time. If we can't um, stop the peak from coming um, there's going to be a lot of people who are going to die because the health services aren't going to keep up with it. So everyone needs to do their bit um, and these people could have been, some, could have been um, saved with ventilators and that. UK again has been pushing, telling anyone who can do manufacturing to try and manufacture ventilators because obviously that's where the problem is. Anyway, so dried my hands. What I have found is I have started to um, chafe and break up on the back of my hands. So um, it's one of those. Oh, dude, I've got a little nick. It's not like me. Anyway, um, I started to get a lot of chafing and my hands were breaking and um, so now I apply, apply a moisturizer to reinvigor the skin to try and stop the chafing now builders often are quite used to that there's very many brands for these sort of things um, just to try and stop chafing and rehydrate your hands because a lot of the work that builders do it is um, wearing on the hands to say the least so there we go they're all rehydrated and we're now pretty much ready to go so you can like got a nice clean shaven skin so you can get a nice fit on there the other advice was Apart from trying to stop touching your face so you don't transfer germs onto your face because they can go in through your nose and your mouth. They also say your eyes because people rub their eyes and then the virus gets in that way. Now, working uh, up close with people, um, you could always just go for the whole hog. And get your face shield and then you are pretty much ready to go. So I'm ready for the big wide world once I get released. Yay!